Yo, yo, welcome to another video, guys. Today we are going to be showcasing Tan in Dragons B12. He is joining the Rock on Composition, baby. As you can see, we have him moving first, all right? The reason for that, guys, is because I want him to ideally open up with skill 3, leave the branding, go into skill 2, and reduce the attack bar of both the boss and the side crystals just like that just how you saw him do right here you may have also noticed that he is on violent so that's obviously going to help right but uh, again you want him moving first the second reason for that is because you have the rock on right you have the rock on you've got three team ups so if they pull him there we go exactly how we want him to do it so as long as they pull him twice then he can actually get that combo off again guys so right there they only pulled him once so his skill three was not up yet also that looks like the homunculus derped a little bit there but there we go this is looking like a sort of like a worst case scenario and look at Ken just showcasing himself in this Ken showcase in DB12 he got that strip and guys mine is still missing 20% on his um, added effect rate because I haven't gotten those skill ups yet I'm waiting for the event to finish him and then he will be even better because he'll be absorbing more attack bar and a higher chance to strip okay so a minute 23 but you saw we kind of missed the defense breaks um they we, we didn't get them very often and also we didn't have that attack buff the whole uh time we fought the dragon right so let's take a look at another run and let's see how it goes we'll skip over to the boss stage so i can show you guys an ideal run all right guys here we go we're at the boss and right away he opens up with a skill three but he derped he didn't use his skill two after that which sucks again the homuncule is also derped and we still didn't get attack buff let's see how this one goes now we finally have the defense break but it doesn't matter this actually might be one of like the worst case situations here we're gonna need to strip this we're gonna need to strip this let's see how this one plays out there he goes and he got resisted on the actual strip himself but again those of you that have been asking this is why you want the shield guys on your skill two on the homunculus it looks like we actually did get the strip now and now we have the rock on the attack buff and it's gg guys all right here we go round three baby let's go there he is and you saw right there perfect combo he got the reduction on the right tower which is the one we need that's the one that gives him the uh gives the dragon the immunity and now we finally got the defense break we got the attack buff let's see let's see if he can get this combo back again okay look at that pro look at kengo oh my god that was amazing right there he went skill two proc into skill three uh that was very nice very very nice all right guys i know some of you don't have a second rock so let's showcase the lauren in its place uh, and honestly guys this one is probably the safest variation that you are going to see in this video the lauren applying that defense break every single time you know very consistently makes this very consistent in itself um, as long as the homunculus can get that attack buff up on this uh on, on the dragon I mean they dropped the dragon pretty fast still uh, but either way uh, this is very consistent and actually this is probably the team that runs about the, the fastest average time for me so I've gotten about 52 seconds with this um, and it goes up to like a minute 20 but still a little faster than when when you run the double rocks unless you get really lucky with the double rocks and they get that uh, defense break right away then that is a little a little faster than this for sure but it's just not as consistent right because we're missing those defense breaks now i'll show you here so you've got three strips guys you've got three strips and man look at kengo man look at kengo just reapplying that brand so often and that's gg the boss drops the boss melts no problem uh just because you have that consistent defense break and there you go minute 15 there so what if you don't have the light homunculus well if you don't if you've been watching my channel you know that you really really want a second rock right so this is what you would run you would run the double rock the lauren 
and then the can the lord always needs to move first to set up that defense break right and uh as long as 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 you have enough turn cycling guys this team is going to be also very safe um, again because of the resistance you just never know you are dropping an s1 strip on your homunculus so of course you may fail a little bit here and there uh, we'll see so if you run this team i suggest you trade damage for speed and make sure that they are all over 200 okay it'll be more about the turn cycling so that you can get those strips for example when the can or the lauren get resisted okay and that's just to make it safer obviously because you're dropping damage your times are probably going to go up a little bit okay but this is in case you know if you don't have the light homunculus so let's take a look you can as you can see right there she just got resisted she just got resisted and uh actually there we go the can actually got it though and uh it's just gonna be a kill he's not gonna be he's not gonna get another turn now so this team is actually not bad i do prefer the one rock and the homunculus uh with the lauren um again a minute 20 not bad at all right not bad at all all right guys and now we're gonna try triple doggo with the can and the vertihile i do want the vertihile so that i can turn cycle a little bit i don't think i have the the quality the room quality to drop the uh the dragon in one go so we're gonna need at least two turns on the dragon to kill him and we're gonna need a little bit of luck you saw here we had a hard time applying that defense break right um i just don't have enough 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 uh accuracy uh, on, all, on all the doggos to, to apply it consistently unfortunately so i don't suggest running this that much um, unless your room quality is amazing um, and you are running very high accuracy but let's see how this goes see we can't get that defense break unfortunately so it's uh we were probably gonna wipe here for sure well there it is he gets one turn can we kill we got a brand can we kill oh 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 look at that damage okay all right and turned around real fast right so i ran this team a little bit but uh, again you know it does fail so not bad though a minute two all right, and last but not least, we are going to try to kill him without the Vertihile's turn cycling. So instead, we will be using the Lauren uh, for the attack buff, I'm um, sorry, the attack leader skill. And uh, let's see how it goes. Um, as long as we set up that defense break right away, the homunculus does her thing like that. It's, I mean, we may not need the turn cycling, right? We may not need the Vertihile for this again once your can is fully skilled he's also going to help with the reduction of the attack bar on the uh, on the towers um ideally hopefully and also it'll be the strip will be so much more consistent on him because he's going to hit three times and it's a 50 percent chance each time of course you're going to need accuracy on him and uh, let's see how this goes there's the rock on unfortunately the ken didn't apply the brand so that kind of sucks but we'll see how this goes on uh, the team ups i mean they hurt guys they hurt there's the nice strip from the lauren and yeah this is gonna look like gg uh the dragon's just not gonna get a th oh my god you see the power guys the power of their brand from ken it is legit a oh, minute nine so there you go guys ken is definitely very very viable with rock on that's for sure okay guys so now i'm going to show you the runes and i'm going to explain to you what to do if you can't match this rune quality which i'm pretty sure a lot of you can't okay so how do you build ken uh you'll notice 100 percent crit rate and accuracy guys you want accuracy on him so he can land the strips so he can land the actual brand okay this guys is a little secondary um it's all about you know landing that attack um everything right so he so these all right guys so my can is ruined pretty well uh he is 100 percent crit rate on crit damage with accuracy and i will say guys if you can't match this room quality which i'm sure like, um, a lot of you may not be able to if you are more mid game um this is how you will run him you will run him speed crit rate crit rate and attack with accuracy substats everywhere you can you can get 
um, or um, even just a lot more speed okay you can get rid of a lot of the attack you can trade the attack you can even go accuracy slot six if you absolutely need to you can go speed crit rate accuracy on him and get him over 200 speed um, if you don't have enough damage to kill the boss fast enough guys just add speed add speed um, and with between the Lauren and the strips the boss won't get a turn and trust me um, obviously your runs are going to be a little slower but even at two minutes they will be safe guys so that's how you're going to want to build your can okay and then uh, these guys, if you haven't seen my video, you need to go check it out. I've got a video showcasing all of the runes. The only difference between those videos and this one is the homunculus is now on accuracy slot 6 because, um, I, I, I mean, it's obviously better, right? So 85 accuracy for the homunculus, okay? So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And guys, honestly, Ken is very viable in Dragon's V12. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> you know.